Stephen Smith, I work well in the shop, and that's the best man. I have known Stephen for many years, but I never thought he'd let me speak in such a public way, and here he goes. I'd like to thank everyone who's played a part in making today happen. You all know who you are, and your support is something that's extremely valued. I'd also like to thank Stephen Benjamin's parents for making them, so we could all be here today to celebrate. Also, a big well done to Adam Gates. He struggles with his left and right, never mind the alphabet, so from being sat in the right place. Job very well done. <laughs> I have known Steve for a very long time and our friendship has always been competitive. This was made even more apparent on the stead do. My first goal in the opposite stable, he ended up in a hedge. And then Stephen later found the nearest tree to where uh, made my effort look terrible, really. I suppose this is the part of the speech that tells some embarrassing stories. Well, over a 20 year friendship, there have been many. I was either the cause of these episodes. I was either part of these episodes, sorry, or at least the cause, and I'm not willing to ruin my impeccable reputation for him. Today, today has been very, very special, but in a selfish way, it's also been a little sad. My Steve is now your Steve Becky. No more buddy and baddie, but I could not be happier for the both of you. Steven, you found an amazing soulmate in Becky. You both have the funniest, beautiful daughter. You managed to get Becky down the aisle. Best of all, you've destroyed the rule that you can't find love in the bees. <laughs> <laughs> Before I do forget, you have to admit today that I am a better man. So, last time of all, everyone, please be standing.